Okay, I am done eating and now it's time to take this bad boy. Uh, why isn't it focusing? I was trying to make this dramatic. It's time to take her. Um, this is a thousand milligrams. This really does have a bitter taste. I just drink it with whatever I have. I have Thai tea right now. So that's what I'm drinking with. with. I don't know if it... You know how they say like, we'll drink it with water? This thing on the label, it says like, make sure to drink it with something. Because it has like, bitter taste. So, Thai tea it is. Okay guys. It's nap time. Good morning. I'm so drowsy and I have the biggest headache. I'm going to take my morning dose. Not feeling the greatest this morning, to be honest. Not at all. I'm ready to start the day. Good morning. I am going to get ready. Okay. Okay, so I just washed my face, I brushed my teeth, um, sorry, I feel like I have fuzzy stuff. When I wake up in the morning from taking Capra the night prior, does that make sense? Does that make sense? I don't know if that just makes sense. When I wake up in the morning, I always feel extremely drowsy. I feel extremely out of it. Like I don't feel like myself. I feel kind of like cloudy or like in a daze, if that makes sense. So that's one of the things that I kind of don't like about taking it. Um, especially such a heavy dose twice a day is because of that. I hate going to sleep and then waking up drowsy because it makes me feel like... Um, I can't be productive throughout the day um, and it kind of sets like a I don't like the tone that it sets for my mornings because I can't just lay in bed all day um, I woke up like around 10 30 ish 10 o'clock I woke up um, and I laid in bed for another hour because I felt like I couldn't get out of bed like I just felt like that and I have this headache going on that I feel like is also contributing uh, contributing to it. Um, yeah, that's like my one one of my biggest pet peeves with it. Um, it's like it's a Saturday today, but on a weekday I don't have that luxury of just like staying in bed, you know. So I'm not ready. We're gonna go to the dog beach. So I'm gonna. Finish, finish getting ready actually and I will see you guys in a little bit <laughs> I was going to take my dogs to the dog park <laughs> this is the dog beach I was going to take them to the dog beach um I just have like a lot of things anxiety so um i feel like a bad dog mom that i can't do like the basic things for them right now like walk them and take them outside we were going to and then just didn't i couldn't 
so that I took them back inside. They were <laughs> so happy. And they got in the car because they knew they were going to go somewhere. So I'm going to... I'm going to... um Calm down and take shower, get ready again, and then I will hopefully feel better. And I'm going to have to force myself to take them. Um, just they deserve to go outside and have fun. So I'll talk to you guys later. I just took a shower. Um, I'm still not at baseline, so I just need to give it a little bit more. Um, oh, I just need to calm down a little bit more, and then I will probably get ready again and, um, take my dogs out. Um, a weird turn of events. <laughs> um, so yeah. Hey guys, it's me. Um, it's editing me actually. Um, I'm just sitting here editing the video and I'm up to the scene where I have completely like broken down. I ended up not taking my dogs to the dog beach Oh, just something I just had planned for them um, for a week now um, just because since I spend so much time at home I don't really leave and the past two three let's just say the past month um, I've just become a lot more anxious um, my rigidity is completely off I'm emotional I'm like a ticking time bomb um any little thing is starting to like trigger me and I just like completely have like either a mental breakdown or like an emotional breakdown and it may seem kind of like frivolous that I'm crying because I can't bring myself to go outside with my dogs um it really is mind over matter I have just been struggling a lot internally and I've internalized a lot of things that have just been occurring um sporadically and since I've internalized a lot of like negative things it's really taken a toll on my self-esteem and I have a hard time being out in public and um yeah and I really did feel like crap in this moment, um, I, I, I thought I had mustered up a lot of courage and I, um, I thought I was in the right headspace to leave my apartment and, you know, have a good day with my dogs because I know they deserve it and I probably need to get out of my house for my own mental health. Um, but I, I, I couldn't I got in the car with my boyfriend and I just I just broke down and I I just slept all day I literally just slept all day hello um it's actually 9 30 I pretty much just slept all day um I'm not really happy about it um I feel like a bad dog mom because when I get in this headspace, all I want to do is like sleep and like cry and stay inside. I have really bad like anxiety. So even though I didn't get to go to the dog beach with them, I was like, oh, I'm just going to sleep for a little bit and then I'll probably, you know, take them to walk or whatever. But I can't even bring myself to do that because like I... I just get so like anxious and stuff so I just slept all afternoon and I just feel like the worst dog mom ever I feel like I shouldn't have dogs right now 
or ever because I can't even do like the bare minimum for them and I just hate the headspace that I get in sometimes and it's I can't do anything about it but like try to cope with it in like the healthiest way that I can and for me that is just sleeping I rather just sleep off my emotions than like do something crazy or something I would regret or something that would make other people feel bad or cry so I actually have to take my um I hate crying in front of the camera because it's just so I'm sorry um I have to take my medication it's I'm kind of due for it I don't want to take it because it doesn't really it when I'm in this headspace it doesn't really help me it kind of just makes it even worse it, it like feeds my thoughts and yeah but I have to take it this time I'm not going to eat I'm actually just going to um, drink this matcha tea that I have ready um, I'm gonna take this matcha tea and I'm just gonna drink it and take my medication and I am gonna go to Santa Monica and walk my dogs for a little bit to kind of compensate for keeping them inside for another another full day um, and I think this concludes the video what a germ I feel like it's such like a dramatic turn of events huh sorry I didn't know this was gonna happen I thought this was gonna be more of like just uh, watch me go through my emotions um of taking Capra or whatever I'm sorry um yeah I'm really really sorry I don't even know what else to really say um so yeah, I will see you guys next time.